the Idaho Painter here on a freezing day in the wintertime Boise, Idaho, and I'm coming to you with another quick and simple tip. And this is a tip putting colorant into your interior spackle. Sometimes we're doing a, a full interior and we're doing a lot of spackling on the interior. We're doing um, spackling on the trim of the walls. The spackle could be pretty similar to the trim or the wall color. And if you forget to go back and sand that spackle prior to applying your top coat, then it's going to create more work for you to go back and fix those spots. So applying a colorant to your spackle will save you a little time, will identify all those areas that need to be sanded before applying the top coat. And we actually keep a product in our vans, and this is Irwin Chalk Line, and this is a product we have in our vans to put into our chalk lines when we're doing epoxy floors. And all this is is just a powdered chalk that has a color. There's a couple colors, there's blue and red, and we just apply about a tablespoon of that chalk, chalk into our spackle. We stir it around with a wooden knife, and now our spackle's been dyed to either a blue or red color. Another quick and simple tip is some of our employees have actually used powdered Tule to put into the spackle, which has a dye, and it dyes the spackle the same color as that Kool-Aid. Just to add a little bit, stir it up with a putty knife, and now your spackle is colored and tinted. This is a quick and simple tip how to color your spackle.